When it comes to Apple, Snapdragon, CPUs, there's a little bit of news when it comes here, when it comes to the um, internet, uh, excuse me, when it comes to the CPU news. Check this out, and we'll get out of here on this. So let me pull this up on my end. So we got Apple's A19 CPU that's coming in the iPhone what the this upcoming iphone to focus more on efficiency this year the tipster is hinting that the snapdragon 8 elite gen 2 could be faster but at the expense of increased battery drain so those of y'all that are familiar with the channel i have a love-hate relationship with this year's snapdragon flagship cpus and a love-hate relationship with with samsung galaxy flagship uh, 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 devices the traditional 8 gen uh, excuse me, the traditional Snapdragon 8 Elite overheats on me. The 7 core that's in the S25 Edge has been perfect. So it looks like Apple, as you know, I think with the release of the iPhone 15 series, remember they dealt with that overheating issue? Well, CPUs were just cranking out a ton of power, way too much power. And they basically had to tone it down with a with a update, with a future update. And I think you're seeing, I think CPUs are at the point, I'm not necessarily personally concerned with raw power. I just don't want a phone that has any issues, right? I don't game, although I am a heavy, heavy multitasker. I do everything on my phone. So I don't necessarily care about raw power. I want efficiency. I want good battery life and efficiency. And I think Apple's on to something. And I wish some of these other companies uh, like Snapdragon uh, would not necessarily worry about the um, benchmark race and just put out a good product. You don't have to be the fastest CPU out there. You don't have to top each and every benchmark test or and or score. But I, I want good battery life. And obviously, I wanted to handle all of my tasks, right? It's going to have to be power powerful you know enough to handle everything but i'm just saying it doesn't have to be the a a top a a chart topper right you get what i'm saying i, I think y'all do uh, maybe i'm not i'm not portraying my my idea well enough but i think you understand so i think they're onto something i want efficiency good battery life and i wish snapdragon would kind of i know they were in the arms race because for, for so for freaking 10 or 12 years apple has been blowing them away in performance and I was, I got caught up in that. And just over the past year or two, and you're probably about a year, 10 to 12 months, I'm like, you know what? I really don't care because I've had heating issues a lot this last six months. And now I'm like, you know what? I don't really care about um, performance and all that stuff. I mean, obviously it's a flagship CPU, so the performance should be there. I just, it doesn't have to be the absolute best. But I think I think Qualcomm got a little carried away with having the very fastest and best performing CPU because for so many years they got blown out, blown away by Apple's Bionic chips. And just this past year was the very first year um, any Android device benchmarked higher than an iPhone. So we know you can do it, Qualcomm. MediaTek, you're right there. We know you can do it. Just tone it back a bit and give us a little more efficiency, a little more battery life. I don't want my devices overheating. That seven core Snapdragon 8 Elite is absolutely perfect. If you can continue that with the second generation 8 Elite, uh, you'd get two thumbs up for me. So um, there's nothing worse than getting a hot freaking phone and I absolutely hate it. Battery life goes down the drain and it just ruins your whole day. So uh, I think Apple's on the right track and I wish more CPU manufacturers would take that same cue. Now, Google, they've never been close to the top of benchmark scores. They've never worried about benchmark. Now, maybe we can kind of see why, right? They're more, they're more geared towards efficiency. They're more geared towards AI. They're more geared towards the whole experience, right? So maybe they're on the right track, right? Maybe Apple's the one that's going to take a, a hint from Google with their Tensor chips. And I think Snapdragon does too. I'm not saying take a step way back. I'm just saying tone it down a bit. Like, um, and I don't even think it's Snapdragon's fault, right? Because the OnePlus 13 has the 
Snapdragon 80 lead in there, totally fine. Don't have any issues with my with the OnePlus 13 I have. The Galaxy devices. Now, they say uh, CPU, uh, what is it? It's, it's branded as uh, custom or by Galaxy or for Galaxy, Snapdragon 4 Galaxy. All they do is, is overclock it. Well, here's a here's a hint, Samsung. Don't overclock it. I think you're overheating these CPUs. I've had three S25 Ultras, and uh, they get hot. So just chill out, <laughs> chill out a bit. And we're gonna leave it at that. I gotta run. Appreciate the time, and I should get those cases out this weekend. So uh, if you got one, if you got one, I will email you. Be on the lookout. And uh, before I get out of here, I'm not a Cowboys fan. And number two. If you watch the replay, if you are one of those that watch the replay from now on, you can skip the intro. Go down into the video description and I'll put a timestamp that says start the show in all caps and you can touch the whatever the time is in the in blue in the blue font. Touch that and you go right to the start. So I'll see you all tomorrow. I got to run. Appreciate the time. Peace out. Oh, let me say hi. What's up, brother? Thank you, man. I appreciate you joining me. What do you think about the phone three? You like it? Or, or did you see the picture? Possibly the picture. We got this right here. Weird, huh? And then you got specs. Can I add both of them? Let me see. Damn it. So you got that one's the phone, maybe. And you definitely got the specs right here. So uh, good to see fast charging, but we don't know UFS storage and we don't know if it's going to be waterproof. But should should be right all right i gotta get out of here peace